Hey, what's up coders? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my friend Frederick, who's a software engineer and a founder. Thanks for being on my channel. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having me. So, would you like to talk a bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, hey, my name is Frederick. I'm from Germany and uh, yeah, I started Flutter one and a half years ago or something. Uh, before that, I was an Android developer for six plus years and um, yeah, Flutter actually really got me fascinated because I always like to build high quality UIs and since Flutter is the UI framework, uh, yeah, it got me hooked and uh, yeah, now I'm here just talking to you. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should also mention that I have this uh, Flutter school meetup mm -hmm. and we also write some, put out some blog posts and stuff, so if you heard about it, that's, that's me, <laughs> yeah. What are the services you offer through Flutter school? Uh, Flutter School actually started as a meetup, and right now we're thinking about um, writing more like high-quality articles and yeah, basically teaching people Flutter. And yeah, this is this is the idea, and get this framework out to all the people and convince more more Android, iOS web developers to use it. Could you please give me some more information about International Hackathon? Oh yeah, actually uh, that was an idea I had like, since since half a year or something and then there was Flutter Live like five months ago or something and uh, I was talking to Nile about it and um, yeah we're asking if we could organize something with all the with all the other community members because it would be cool if we actually uh, yeah create an event that that reflects this awesome international community because now I think until now 25 different countries are taking part in, in this hackathon which is completely organized by our our community and over 50 meetups and I think right now it's it's growing all the time like every day we get four four new meetups uh, signing up for it and I think it's really cool because it shows how yeah how well this community works together and yeah I think this is awesome I think you can also see like the work you're doing here it's just great and uh, yes yeah, it's, it's about people like you yeah. All right, I see that you work on Flutter animation a lot. Any favorite work that you would like to discuss? Uh, yeah, as I said, I started out as an Android developer and I was really excited when they, they were introducing the animated vector drawables and stuff and also like custom transi transitions and shared element transitions because I think this gives a real high quality look and feel to an app and also makes it a lot of fun to use it. Um, yeah, for me, Flutter, uh, I played around a lot with it. I also have like a GitHub repo where you can find some experiments where I copy stuff. But recently, I have been working on the Reply app, uh, the material case study. And there was also, uh, there's also a transition between the list to another page where you basically tap on the list item and then just like it grows and expands where, while the background just shrinks together and is yeah, basically uh, fading out. And I think this is pretty cool and just it's possible in Flutter. So basically, pixel perfect transitions. It's something, yeah, which is really hard or mostly maybe not even doable in this kind of grade. And I'm really excited about that. So animations, animations, animations. <laughs> That's my topic. Your views on state management. That's actually an exciting, interesting one, and uh, I had a very good discussion actually with Eero, he's also here, and we were talking about Block and um, the provider or scope model, and uh, yeah, I believe people should, should just get started and use the state management pattern with what, what they're comfortable with, um, but I believe that the provider package is a very good approach, um, for sure. You can also say that it's really near to the frame, to the framework, to the Flutter framework, but it also makes it, um, yeah, well, very easy, easy to use and quite flexible. And yeah, I, I think you should just use Block if you're very experienced already in uh, in the RX Start theme or sector. So if you're a very experienced Android developer and you're coming from that side, I think it's totally fine to do that. But it's also, um, yeah, way more difficult, I would say. So. Yeah, just get started with the set state thing. And if it gets too complicated, then just choose provider. Because I think it's a very, very good approach. And um, it's difficult to get things wrong when you're implementing that. Yeah, and if you know what you're doing, you can choose block. But I don't think block is superior or inferior to provider. So it's just like a preference of choice. Yeah. Your thoughts on Flutter for web? 
I think it's amazing. <laughs> I've never been a web developer, and now um, I can also put my, like put my web out there, um, my app out there into the web. Yeah, and what I, from what I've seen from the from the preview, which is now live, you can just build your your own app and run it in the browser. It's amazing. I mean, it's not 100% there yet. There are like few tweaks there still need to be, which still need to be implemented. But for now, I think from what I've seen, you can basically just take your app and run it in the browser. Okay, your top three do's and don'ts for developer who are starting with Flutter. That's a good one. So. <laughs> Um, so the top three do's, I would say, is um, give it a try. So if you're an Android developer, I, I, um, every time I speak to them, they're like, yeah, you know, this is again this cross-platform thing, and I, I don't like it that much. And I can also, yeah, I can, I can feel them, because I was also, I, I come from this high-quality UI thing, and I like to do animations and really well-crafted designs to implement that, that kind of stuff. And back in Android, when I was thinking about all the other alternatives, platforms, and frameworks that were out there, yeah, you wouldn't get those results. So yeah, the app would feel always not really, yeah, it was it wouldn't feel like that good, you know. And um, yeah, with Flutter, this is possible. And I would say just give give Flutter a try, and, and keep up for like just a week. And after a week, you will see, yeah, it's not that bad. And after two weeks, you will feel, yeah, it's actually quite good. And the more you dig into the framework, you just say, this is, this is genius. And what the people did there with, um, yeah, basically th taking care of everything. They took all the last 15 years of mobile development pain and turned it into just a joy. And it's just so much fun to, yeah, to, to, to write code again and to write stuff in Flutter. So this is my first do. It def would definitely be just get started. Give it a try. Also, if you don't think that it's the thing, just play around with it and do it. Second one, don't overthink. Don't overthink state management, because back then there were so many discussions. If you should use blog, if you should use provider, if you should use Redux, whatever, just go with vanilla and do set state. Uh, yeah, just so just go and, and play around. And this was also first my first don't, I would say. And my third one was, yeah, play around, try things you never did before. May it be animation, may it be uh, like state management patterns, may it be, yeah, putting your app out into the web on iOS, on all, all different devices. I think this is really cool. And so I think I have two don'ts left. I would say, like, yeah, it's just don't don't judge the platform before you do, before you know it. Don't judge the community. I think it's awesome. It's so great. And um, yeah, because I think uh, Kama is doing an amazing job here. Thank you, thank you for, for coming on my channel. And uh, please do follow him. I'm gonna add all your Twitter, GitHub oh, yeah, links, thanks. everything. So please do follow him. He has a wonderful organization called Flutter School. So please do check it out. And he's an amazing organizer and best Flutter developer. Thank you so much for being on my channel again. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure.